All right, so what you're witnessing right now, at the top of Behemoth, if you look very closely, you can see a maintenance worker kind of taking two steps at a time up and then spending about 30 seconds analyzing uh, the track, the chain, anything that has to do with Behemoth. This is what they do right before they're about to do uh, a test run. So this is gonna be Behemoth's first cycle of the season. Um, this is the third year in a row that I've been here to see its first cycle, so I'm super excited about this. Um, but yeah, basically he's gonna check that, and then what he's gonna do is he's gonna walk down the staircase, and they're gonna transfer on the trains if they're not already transferred on. I'm assuming they're not, because what they're doing is a track walk. They're checking for any um, thing that could have gone wrong over the off season. Then they're gonna test the motor on the lift hill, and then they're gonna send a train up the lift hill slowly, and then they'll let it release it. And if it makes it back all right, uh, they'll continue to test uh, the ride. So far they've done flight deck today, and now it looks like uh, they have trainees over there running it's like 50 cycles per train, and now they're working on Behemoth. This is something they actually do um, every single morning before the park opens. So a lot of people are very scared of roller coasters and they think they're unsafe, when in reality it's probably one of the safest activities you can do out there. Every time you see a video on Six Buzz or one of those uh, Instagram or Twitter accounts or even now TikTok showing a train stopped on the lift hill or a ride stopped high in the air, that's actually its safety feature working properly and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really good thing that it does that. So if the sensors on the ride sense anything wrong or if the trains get too close together or anything, any little thing, like even a fly lands on a sensor or a bird flies by the sensor, the ride will stop. These rides are super safe. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys a quick little thing of a little what they call PM, preventative maintenance. Um, and that's what he's doing right now. So if you can see him up there, he's getting close to the top and then he's gonna walk all the way back down and then they'll start testing this baby. Um, but yeah, I'm here filming. I got some power left in the drone. I was filming other rides testing this morning. Um, I didn't think they were gonna do Behemoth and then I went to the other side of the park to film a crane over by Dragonfire. Um, but I saw them on the lift hill for Behemoth, and I'm like, oh wow, they're actually going to run this thing. So third year in a row being here for the first test run of uh, Behemoth, so super excited about this. But I'll cut scene to Behemoth actually running. Just wanted to inform you guys of what was going on. So what they just did is they blared the horn on Behemoth. So uh, either the train is starting to slowly make its way towards the lift hill, and then it's going to send the lift hill while he's up there so he can make sure nothing's going wrong with the train. Um, or that just means they're turning on the ride. Um, different horns and the blast of the horn mean different things to maintenance, so it's very difficult for me who doesn't work at the park to know which horn that was. But I can confirm they turned on the ride at minimum, so we should see some testing shortly. Again, I'm here, I got the drone ready, and I got my camera ready for you guys. Alrighty, so as you can tell by the footage right here, Wonderland started testing some of their rides um, the other day. So this footage is from June 7th, and uh, I was there for about four hours, and that was probably the dumbest thing I could have done in my entire life. I got my second dose of vaccine, and what do I do on the first day? Well, my body is in probably the worst state it could possibly be. I go stand out in the hot heat, hot sun directly on me, and I get sunburned and then dehydrated. And yeah, things did not go well last night at all. <laughs> so I'm feeling much, much better today. Thank goodness. Um, and yeah, I'm recording this video. So I have a lot to go over. First of all, you saw our video yesterday. Um, I rushed it out and then I reached out to the park. We got a response. So what's going on with Riptide? Riptide is going under um, a bearings replacement. So the bearings on Riptide are being replaced. Um, and this is an extensive slash pretty frequent in the last five years kind of project. Um, so it is kind of normal, but for those of us that don't work at a theme park or work in maintenance, seeing a ride being torn apart, 
obviously raises the red flag of, is it getting removed? And then with my trauma of Orbiter being removed without an announcement, I just assumed that the ride was most likely being removed, but I did go over the possibility that it could be maintenance, and that is exactly what that is. So uh, Riptide should be back in operation for the 2021 season. Um, and uh, to be honest, I think uh, this is just like a couple of weeks. A lot of people don't know this, but Wonderland does a lot of in-house repairs and in-house um, construction projects, some of which I can't talk about that are going on right now and some that a lot of you know. So a lot of the Frontier Canada theming and stuff like that was built in-house, um, which is pretty awesome. They have a wood shop, they have a paint shop, and they actually do a lot of metal work in-house as well. So it's pretty insane what Wonderland does and the people they have working for them. Um, as you can tell as I'm talking right now, rides are testing. So Vortex tested yesterday. Um, Swings of the Century tested yesterday. Flight Deck tested yesterday. Um, they removed um, Riptide for bearing replacements. Uh, I believe Thunder Run tested yesterday along with um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else testing in that area. Um, I know today uh, I tried to go fly, but it was raining and storming, and then I didn't see anything testing, so there was no point. Um, as I said in my previous video, what they do is they'll test one ride, get it ready for the season, they'll test it like three times, and then they wait for the training weekend, essentially, for the rides who get its cycles in. Um, which allows them to open up more rides quicker. So as you know, uh, stage one starting this Friday, which is super exciting because technically with the math, Wonderland could technically open around July 2nd, July 3rd, that weekend, a little bit earlier than proposed. Um, I do know that Wonderland most likely will probably open July 5th unless we see training fast tracked a little bit. Um, so uh, training goes up until it's usually a four week thing. As we saw last year, it was four weekends in a row. So I'm assuming it's four weekends in a row this year as well. And based off of what I'm seeing, the ride groups are exactly what they were last week, uh, last year. So it's going to be four weekends, um, as well. It's literally the same ride groups as last year that they're, they're running and cycling. So, um, what's super, um, exciting is Wonderland will definitely probably opening July 5th with no setbacks and training will be done. It's the same time frame. Um, and, uh, yeah, they have the possibility of opening that weekend earlier or weekend just right before July 5th. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll let you guys know if we see anything being fast tracked or anything. Um, but yeah, just a lot going on at the park. I'm probably just going to keep all my footage unedited. I'm just going to upload it here so you can watch what's going on. There's lots of trucks driving around, um, merch stocks, restaurant stocking. Um, and in the corner of the park, you can see them playing around with whip tide, kind of like removing it slowly throughout the day. So yeah, you can watch that. Um, I'm don't have much else to talk. So I'm not going to talk for the next like 10 minutes, 12 minutes, however long it is. Um, but if for those of you that are really interested in what's going on at Wonderland, I'll upload this raw footage for you to kind of just watch it for an extra 10 minutes and see how the park is getting ready and progressing. Um, Behemoth did not test. I know at the beginning of the video, I was kind of recording that in the park. Um, it looks like they were actually spraying the chain down with oil, I would assume. Um, they went over and did it to Leviathan immediately after. I literally sat there in the heat waiting for it to test, and I feel like I wasted my time. Um, but nonetheless... Uh, Behemoth probably will not test this week, and if it does, it'll be literally the once per train, and then it's waiting for the training weekend, um, which I'll let you guys know about if I figure that out based off of last year. Um, but yeah, nonetheless... Thank you so much for watching our video. Sorry for the um, panic of Riptide being removed. Again, it is not being removed. It's just having bearing replacements, so calm down. I did not realize so many people would be triggered over Riptide. I, it's a great ride because of the water, but outside of that, it's pretty predictable. I don't think it's going to last very long at Canada's Wonderland. It's had a lot of maintenance problems over the years. Um, I think, again, this is their third time having to replace the bearings in, like, a five-year period. I could be wrong. Again, don't hold me to that. But I think this is the third time. Second or third time, definitely two times um, minimum. Um, but I think it's three. Um, but, yeah, thanks so much, guys. Um, and, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, I'm out of it, so I apologize for the disorganized videos yesterday and today. Um, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.